Hi guys, how we doing today? Um, I am going to be doing some decals and some squishy nails. So, we will get right to it. I already have my white base and my cotton ball stamping plate set up. So, let's do this. For the decals, I will be using my long clear stamper. Don't use nail polish on this. Or, remover, I should say. I didn't even think about it. And I got a little bit of polish on the side and I just wiped it off and it totally like frosted it. So don't do that. But anyways, I'll be using the Long Clear Stamper from Polished Vino. I also will be using my Short Clear Stamper that is also from Polished Vino. Okay. Um, this comes with a cap. I did take it off already though. Like I said, I tried to be set up for you. Okay, and then for the squishy, my favorite for the squishy is my Winstonia Marshmallow Super Squishy Big Stamper. And as you can see, it's well loved. <laughs> okay, so anyways, that's for the squishy. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. Let's get started. I'm using Sinful Colors Snow Me White to stamp with. I think they stamp pretty good. I don't think they need, you know, anything. I don't need any white stamping polish because this one works pretty well. Uh, let me get my, oh, lint roller. You're also going to need a lint roller to do this because you don't want to use any type of remover on the polish, I mean on the stamper head. Jeez, I'm sorry. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm tired. Anyways, this is the plate I'll be using. It's Born Pretty L003, and it's got all different patterns on it. The one I'm going to use is this one right here. It's like a zigzaggy coolness. Right, so I'm going to clean that off, make sure there's nothing on it first. But yeah, these things do wonderful. Now we are going to take some neon acrylic paint. I got this idea from my friend Megan. I will link her Instagram down below. So make sure you go check her out. Because this pretty much started from her. It's great. She makes good decals. So I have Craft Smart acrylic paint. Yes, I know they're a mess, but neon yellow, neon pink. Neon green and neon blue. Notice the pattern here. Okay, I got my paint, my paintbrush. Let's get started on decals. I do have a cup of warm water over here for the paint now. Since I'm dumb and I forgot it in the beginning. Uh, let's start. Let's start with the blue. I like blue. This is kind of thick paint. Sorry, it'll be opaque. Okay, can we see this here? Um, maybe a daughter probably would have been better for this. Because that seems to be what I'm doing. So let me wipe this off and get a daughter. Okay. Got my daughter. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. So there's the blue. Let's do the yellow, so we can split up the yellow and the green. Doo -doo -doo. I'll probably speed this up for you because this can't be very fun to watch. Okay. 
Okay, now we are going to go in with liquid latex around a couple of nails that I want to do a smush on. Um, this bottle, it's like always at the end. I love, love this stuff. I cannot say enough about this product. So again, I'm going to fast forward you this part. Fast forward you through this part because no one wants to watch all this. Okay, so this is just about dry. I mean, it's not perfect, but we still have some stuff to do here. So now I am going to try my first ever smush mani with acrylic paints. I honestly don't even know if this works, so we'll find out. I'm going to start with a good amount, so I, you know, I'd like to be able to do it just once, so... I'm sticking with the same colors that I used um, on my decals. Make it cohesive, Manny. Oh, that one's kind of thick, huh? Okay, so like I said before, my Winstonia Marshmallow Squish. I mean, there's hair, hold on. Between my kitties and the stickiness of this thing, it's always going nuts. Okay, so. Here we go. Oh my god. It's so bad ass. Sorry kids. Ooh, that's kind of thick. Ooh, yeah, that's thick. So we want to we want to do that. Oops. Holy moly. Alright, so it looks really cool on the paper. It's not transferring super nicely to the finger. It's very, very wet. Alright, well, let's... Wow, see that? Okay. Now it's getting like a yucky, muddy color because it's overmixed, but let's let this dry so maybe the next layer will just stick to this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. So, alright, so let's let that dry and we'll try that again. Okay, so now this is mostly, you know, I can do this, it's good. So because it's like that, I'm going to try this again. Now, I don't want to put more paint down because this is still wet paint. Um, but I do want to tread carefully or else, again, it will get overmixed. So I'm just going to... Right there. Okay. And can we see? I'm trying to get you in there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Go there. Let's try this. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to end up doing a couple layers. So actually I will put use more paint, um, a little less this time, but just to make sure I'm getting the effect I want instead of muddled colors. But yes, yes, when you have that layer down, it definitely works better the next time. Okay, here we do, here we go again. That just looks cool, right? Like a Simon game or something. So let's spread it out a little because I don't want it to get too muddled. But here we go. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> okay. Definitely not as neon as I like. Definitely a little bit more muddled than I like. But, I mean, it's doing it. That's my smush with acrylic paint. <clears throat> I would still definitely recommend the polish. It wasn't bad. Um, just definitely not exactly what I was looking for. Now, obviously, I will have some cleanup to do with this. 
Okay, but back to these really quickly. I am actually just going to top coat them with my trusty HK Girl. It's getting a little thick, you see that? This is <clears throat> the bottom of the two ounce refill bottle. This is my last little bit. It's time to order another. But we are going to top coat these and while I clean up, we will let them dry. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I will be back. Okay, we are back. Now, I cleaned up the paint that was in, like, you know, the cuticle area with just some warm water and a brush. So it's not fully cleaned, but I did top coat them so I don't ruin them. So, nice and shiny. Okay, so, I did take a look at these already, too, because I'm impatient. And that's just what I do. But, uh, turns out, I love them. Okay, I have to peel that off, and then it's kind of rounded, so I'm going to make sure it's, you know, rounded the way it'll fit on my nail. Now, on my nail, you may see hairs, because I pet my cat and I forgot. Um, but I have this adhesive. It's like nail foil glue on these hands, on these two fingers, because it helps make your decal stick better and it's not going to move around and get all messed up we hope okay so let me just toss that up on there now again this is where stamper comes in handy I like to use a stamper to push down my decals because um, I feel like it really gets them down and gets out any air bubbles or anything like that okay so that's about as good as that's going to get. Now, I have my little scissors. And I'm just going to carefully, can you see? Okay, carefully cut this off where I don't want it. Okay, so that's close enough. Make sure that's down. Alright, and we are on to the next. This one, I first pulled it off, it wasn't completely dry. I thought I had ruined it. But I didn't. It's good. It's all good. And, yeah. Can you see the little specks in the yellow? Like, right there. Yeah, that's where it wasn't dry. That's what I get. Alright, so, again, we're just going to plop that on. It should be nice and easy, because I got the sticky on it. Oh, it's still... <gasps> Look! Okay, let's get this done quickly then. This time using the big stamper to push this down. Alright, let's get this cut off. So, it matches not at all. Like, <laughs> you see that doesn't look anything like that and I use the same colors and I even put it over white thinking that that would help with this but no but that's fine oh well all right so now well, before I top coat I'm gonna take my my little carry cup and I know I just praised the um actually Correct nail from INM, the easy cleanup little thing. But for this, a brush would be much, much better because it's probably going to be a lot of excess, not just a quick touch up. Okay, so you just kind of want to go around the edges and it kind of melts to the nail, you know what I mean? Oh, haha, <laughs> I don't even know if you saw that. Alright, so. Like I said, go around the edges, and it will kind of melt to the nail. Okay, we'll get that stuff off after, once this is sealed. Okay, finished product. I'm not going to say they're awesome. I mean, I, 
I love the neon colors, but decals always get a little thick to me, so I'm not sure I like that that much. Um, as far as the smushy goes, yeah, it worked, but it mushed too much. You know what I mean? It just, it blended way too much, and it didn't stay as neon as I was hoping. It was pretty sheer. I was kind of a little surprised at that. That one looks kind of cool, tie-dye, tie-dye-ish. But, so yeah, that's the finished product. I will put a still shot in here for you. And I'm also going to shut my lights off real quick. Oh yeah, you can see the neon there. Okay. And with the help of my Crayola black light little wand, it's my daughter's toy. What? I, it definitely glows nicely. Yep. Oh yeah. I love glowy. Anything glowy makes me happy. So yeah, that's that. I just thought that'd be a little fun shot. Okay, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And give it a thumbs up or whatever and you can like and follow and all that good stuff so i will see you next time bye bye bye